it's uh, about 20 past 7 and I just thought I'd give you a video. First things first, we've got to clean the car off. Ah, perfect! Oh, God. That's the car kind of clean. Uh, but the best news is, look at that, the middle one's been fantastic. Actually, when the bloody hell did he get here? I'm just off on my traditional pilgrimage to the top of the hill. Let's go on a journey. Okay, this is uh, going up the slope through the estate. As a lonely soul. I'll have a little word with him, shall I? Just stopped to talk to that guy, and now I've got a bit of an issue because I seem to be going mostly sideways rather than forwards, but that's okay. Just a little tip for anybody who doesn't driven in much snow before or anything slippy. If you get stuck and your wheels are spinning, just put your car in second gear and let the cut show real slowly. You'll probably get moving. That's a patented tip, mind. Waiting at the bus stop. I don't think he's got too much chance. And I'm completely stuck. Even my second gear technique, I don't think he's going to cut it this time. So let's get out and go for a walk instead. There's the one. Traditional crazy fucker in a non four wheel drive. He's going to try and get down the hill. Excuse my French. And there's the uh, guy in the truck who's going to laugh at him. The group of faithful pilgrims. The hill. Road closed. Everyone always gets stuck on that little bit of road as well, of course. There you go, some crazy mother. 444 Sanyong, he'll be alright. And I had him back to the car. That's the only way to travel. What if he's going to Bristol? Well, after a bit of frantic digging and uh, some second gear action, we're back in the way. And there's the very picturesque village hall. Pull up into the drive. Oh, look at my car space. Oh, that's it, I'm stuck. What adventure! And here we are, back safe and sound. Uh, and that's it.